Hey, what's going on, everybody? Back at you, another video. This time, uh, video is going to be a little bit different, and it deals with a new grading company who took me forever to track down. I got hit up with a message about uh, a slab, and then to take a look at it, and I noticed, you know, they weren't all slab ten stuff like that. There, and it made me made me start wondering, so I started doing a little research onto it. So. With this video here, just basically what you guys think and stuff like that in the comment section. I'm just curious what uh, everybody thinks about this. So let, let's pull it up. There we go. So, like I said, don't ignore the seller. Don't go hitting them up crazily and stuff like that. Because I've heard there's a company in Japan now grading cards. I no, I'll, I'll look at it here in a second because I actually found what they're using kind of as a website. I'll show you here in a minute. So as you can see, it's a Mint 9. You guys can see the label. It's little, uh, I don't know, perforated edges onto it. There's the card itself. On the back, which is strange, it has the eBay ID number for the card. Now, I don't know if he just stuck this on the back of it or not. And then I started looking, and I found somebody else selling BSG cards with the same eBay ID on the back. So I don't know if it's the same guy running the company or not. No idea. But these are out there. So be careful when you're searching and bidding. And make sure you're checking labels, because this is close to the word DGS. And when I did Google it, I couldn't find nothing at all for an actual website. And after digging around for a little bit... I found this here, and it's their, I guess their website. You click this, it doesn't go nowhere. It says it's like in the process or something like that. Looks like they just started offhand, because saying one week away from our new labels and stuff like that. In January, they had this here. But I, I don't really know much more onto it, other than their eBay link. Uh, that, you know, I showed you guys there. And other than this, I mean, there's not much really posted onto here to really give you a whole lot onto it. Oh, here it is. Located in California. I missed this earlier. This is back in November. So they're out of California. So this is not the ones that are out of Japan that I've been hearing people buying from. And be, be on a lookout for those as well, too. Now let's go back. So in this guy's description, he talks about BSG. It's called the Best Service Grading. All right. You guys can look. It talks about how they grade the whole way down. If, if you want to pause it to read it, you can. I mean, I'm not going to go through it all. But what I got a kick out of probably the most was their poor one because I probably wouldn't have worded it this way. This is the lowest grade possible. If you have a graded one... You can clearly see it has been the battle. Okay. But rest assured, if it's in our encapsulation, you know it's 100% sure. Or for sure, at least it is an authentic card, not counterfeit. I don't know who these people are that are running it, who makes them an expert onto it, and so on. So just be careful on it, because there's not a lot of information out on these guys at all. Uh, exception to the centering roll, if a card is exceptionally beautiful, <laughs> the centering would lower the grade. The maximum a card can be penalized is two grades. Example, an 8 with a 90-10 centering would be graded a 6, even though 90-10 would usually be a 3. If the card is an 8 in every other way except centering, the card would receive a 6. Like I said, I don't, I don't know. This is something different out there, and like I said, I did a little bit of research onto it and stuff just to try to take a look at it. And when you look, this guy does have a good bit of them in his store, and I just BSG graded cards. I think there's like over a thousand, if I remember right. Yeah, 1,357 cards graded. We're talking Kobe Bryant rookies. There's a Jeter. Um, let's go by the highest. Kobe Finest Rookie, Flair Metal Rookie, Stackhouse Stadium Club. 
I mean, you start looking at this, you start wondering. I mean, it looks like nowadays anybody get a license to be a grading company out there, but are they going to get the reputation, you know, of GMA, or are they going to get SGC type or HGA? You know, the label to me is very bland and very cheap looking. I don't get why they're putting their eBay ID on the back. And like I said, I've seen uh, somebody else had a couple cards and the same eBay link was posted on the back of the card. So they're definitely processing that out there just probably to get their name out there, I guess. I have no idea. But I'm just surprised with some of the cards that went in there. You don't see a lot of 10s. Well, you do see 10s, but you see 9s, 8s, 7s on here. Um... BGS, B, BGS, BSG4, BSG5. So, they're out there, guys. I just want to know what anybody's opinion is of this offhand. I mean, when you don't even have a website that's open to use, I don't know how they're selling them at all. This goes to their Facebook store, and it doesn't really give you much more... Close this out. On here with anything. So it looks like they basically, you know, probably got a group of people together, graded some cards, and threw them out there. Because I, I do not see a grading form or anything on here. And like I said, let me see if I click this. This is what you get when you go to this website, if it'll pull. So bear with the white screen. It might keep going. Okay, it's not going anywhere. All right, if it pulls up, I'll go back to it. But I pulled it up earlier, and it, it was like... Oh, wait, it's starting to click now. There it is. Coming soon. Don't know. No idea. But like I said, they're out there for grading. Didn't know if anybody else heard of them yet. See what some thoughts and opinions are across the board about it. If you guys seen them, used them, bought them, I don't know. I, I just don't get their grading scale offhand because it's very bland. And the wording on it could be a lot better, in my opinion. The labels are very, very generic to where anybody probably could copy that. I mean, the cases itself is what caught me off bat. I'm going to pull up this real quick. Come on, give me a little box. If you look... Oh, man, this is not a good one here. All right, let's go back. We're going to find one that's a little bit better. Ooh, he just scanned and cropped them all. Ooh. Might be the best one I'm looking at. But if you look, they don't have the circle uh, pieces I was talking about onto it. They spent a little bit of money on their cases. There's no sleeve on the card, of course, in there. What I don't like is there's a lot of spacing here to where this card can slide up and down. And you can notice it there on the top because it's flush on the bottom. By doing that, you're going to start jacking up edges in case you want to do a crossover grade. So that, that was another thing I caught right off the bat. I mean, I got at least even the left and right's off, because look at the gap oops, to the left there. And you could notice that mostly uh, right where the corner is, the gap, right below it. And then you go over there, there's no gap. So it's really not placed in there well. It's going to move around quite a bit. Hmm. Not too sure on this, but I figured I'd bring it to everybody's attention to see if anybody else has seen, heard, used any of that stuff onto it. Again, no way am I promoting it. I just see it, and somebody, a couple other people emailed me about them, and I figured I'd do a video to see. Maybe we can get some more information. Maybe somebody knows something about it. How you submit to them, I, I have no idea, but I think that label is going to be very easily faked. The case itself... Well, I don't know. It's going to be a hard one overall. I probably personally would not send to it because it reminds me too much of GMA looking like. And the other thing is I don't like is that on the back, it has the eBay ID so you can go buy cards. Kind of crazy. All right, everybody. Take care. Don't forget, live tomorrow night, we're going to do that auction. Did a preview video a day earlier, so take a look. If you guys are interested, stop by 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll start the lower stuff. In case any of you guys are trying to get in the HGA lottery, good luck if you are. Uh, I've given up on to it, so 
Um, I'll be live at 9 for sure on uh, Friday night. All right, everybody, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you later.